Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got one replay in the Mercenary Tier 8 Premium Light Tank, the Turtle. Now this is a derp-tastic little light tank, it's been a wee while since we had a derp-tastic replay. And derp is love, derp is life and that is the motto of the Turtle. It's a hell of a fun light tank to play. It's an okay light tank, to be honest. It's, it's, it's it's a meme tank, right? It's not one that you expect to be wholly competitive. It's one you just have a lot of fun with. You have a barrel of laughs in, derp away, and just loll about in. And in this one, there's me and Turkey. Now, this is one that Turkey keeps going, hey, you've got a turtle replay you've got to pull. You've got, you've poke, poke, poke. So here we are, Turkey. It's up for you. And yeah, it's a pretty, pretty special game, to be fair. It was a pretty, f it was a damn fun one to play in. And it was one of those satisfying games as well. One of those games that you have and you you just sit there going, oh, that was really good, wasn't it? That was quite fun. And that, that is just, that is the turtle. The turtle is, is, is a whole bunch of fun. Now, in terms of equipment that I run on the turtle, I run the optics, I run the vert stabs, or well, the gun stabiliser, as it is now, for the 20% bar accuracy. And I run a camo net. Now, it's a derp tank, so I shouldn't technically be relying on the fact that I've got a good reload. So I use the fact that I have a gun rammer skill in my crew to just forego the gun rammer completely and then I've still got the same reload as I would have had pre 6.0 and then I make sure that I can use something like the camo net to maximise the camo of the light tank which is exactly what you want. Sure I could make my reload 10% better even more right but 14.8 is okay for a derp gun and like I say Really, you don't want to be relying on having to reload as quickly as possible in this tank. That's not the way you want to be playing it. So, having the camo is a lot nicer for me than having that 10% better reload. So, I mean, 10% better reload, I'm probably looking at 14 seconds basis at a 14.8. Something like in that ballpark, you know. And in terms of a crew, I run Born Leader, Rapid Reload, six cents. Situational awareness, trap mechanic, steady aim, run and gun, snapshot, and the camouflage expertise. I don't run muffled shot, although muffled shot is broken at the minute, so they've said. If they fix it, that is still something you might want to take on a lot of tanks. But on this tank, because it's a dope gun, it's a 122mm gun, I decided, you know what, we're just going to run the basic camo, make, make our camo that little bit better. But then also, because it is a dope gun, it's really inaccurate really help the gun out as much as possible with all the gun perks so it's one replay because it's a long replay and like I say it's a really satisfying game we don't really need another one to embellish it and me and Turkey are running around like lunatics we've got this mouse chin that we've been trying to pop some shots at but he's a bit of a pain to take out I try and get a shot at the vanguard on the move and it's like okay you've just fired your clip sir I want you I want to get rid of you, okay, because you are the biggest pest at tier 8. You are so frustrating to play against. He's had an oopsie daisy. We come along, bang, climb on top of him, pen him, turkey finishes him off, pest control at your service, get rid of him, out of here, Vanguard. Goodbye, you little pest. Now I'm looking at the next target, and it's the Emil 2. And I'm thinking, I want to go for the ML2 and pen him in the back. But Turkey's like, okay, I, th I think we should go for this mouse chin, get rid of him. He's just killed all our friends in the middle. It's like, you got a point, all right, let's go for the mouse chin. We'll pop a shot at him on the move. Unfortunately, he's splashing and he do track damage, which is sad. Turkey's coming from the other side, so we've got this guy in a bit of a crossfire. He's looking at me, so it's a bit of a risk to go and try and take a shot at him. I'm pulling back to see if I can shoot anyone on this little, under this bridge here. But unfortunately, I can't quite do it. He's looked like he might have fired, so I think, you know, I'm going to chance it. But actually, it was someone shooting it at him. Fortunately enough, though, he ends up missing me. But then I take a hit from the Emil 2 from earlier on. And it's like, oh, you had to get involved, didn't you? Right, okay, no, let's go this way. We're just going to chance it, drive by at the mouse chin. Unfortunately, I hit him just as Turkey finishes him off. And we're just going to get away from the Emil 2. Fortunately enough, he misses us there. That could have been... 400 health off that we could have needed later on and now I'm picking my next target I'm saying to Turkey right my next target this 65T I want to get rid of this AMX because I can pen him in the side I can pen him in the rear 
If we can get rid of this guy, then it will free up the last three guys on this flank. And therefore, they can come and help deal with the problem. Because obviously, the enemy team is heading straight towards our base. We're both in light tanks. So if they go towards our base and get in it, then, you know, we're kind of confident that we can get back anyway. Because, well, we're in light tanks, right? I mean, we may not be in the fastest light tanks. I mean, the, the turtle only goes at 60. But we've still got speed. And speedy boys can get back there. Now, unfortunately, we didn't pen the MX 65T. I don't know if we hit his tracks there. I think we might have done... I don't know. But we can pen it in the side. We can pen it in the rear. And actually, to be honest, I don't know why when I had the full side of his stock turret, I didn't just go for the shot into the turret because I think I can pen the back end of his turret as well. But hey-ho. WZ-111 gets spotted over here. And I'm thinking, right, the WZ-111, he seems a little bit isolated. I might go for this guy. I'm just like, please don't get spotted by the E-75 on my right. Just please don't. I don't want it that. I don't want that. But then we do get lit, and it's actually by this medium tank that's on our left. And we look, it's the 430 version 2. And I'm thinking, right, I'm going to go up, get behind this guy, and actually he's the one attacking me. And we ought to aim at him as we drive by, pop a shot and pen him in the side. Oh, yes, we'll take it. Pen him in the side for 500 odd. Something that's not going to happen all the time. Now, the 430 version 2, I can pen in the side if I avoid his tracks, and I can pen him in the rear quite reliably as well. And we actually got lucky that the auto aim shot on the move, running away, penned him in the side and got rid of him. Because that could have been health gone. But we'll take it, that's him. The next target I want to go for is the WZ-111. At this point the team is dying, it's not looking great. And the WZ-111 shouldn't be expecting me. So I can drive by, pop him for 209 and then just run away. We've only got six rounds of premium HE left. And by the way I, run, I, I tend to fire all my premium HE first because it's got better splash and better pen. Therefore, when you splash people, you do better, more damage, and you're more likely to pen people, so that's why I do that. Anyway, Turk is like, help, I may have got myself into a bit of predicament here with the WZ-111. I just need a bit of distraction. We drive up behind him, and one thing I didn't know, you see the, tur the reticle go red there? I didn't know I could pen the WZ-111 in the back of the turret, but we did. We pen him for 500-odd, finish him off, and we save Turkey's bacon. Yeah, well, he's... Okay, he's not a, he's not a pig, he's turkey i'm gonna have to think of that we save his stuffing stuffing goes with turkey right yeah that, that, that'll do so now we know where the artillery is fired at because you just saw the artillery shell flying and it's time to go piggy hunting and now this is where bacon does get involved who doesn't love a pig hunt it's time to go get that little that little rascal and go get us some nice tasty bacon so like i say we know he came from this direction the shot because he fired at us, and look, there he is. We're just going to make sure that the shell gets aimed in, pop a shot through his superstructure, trying to avoid his gun so that we know we're going to pen it, and we do. So now, since we're six cents spotted, we're going to drive straight forward and wait to get unspotted because I want to make it look like we are heading that way. I want to make it look like we're heading away from the two heavy tanks that were both spotted to the south of where I was heading. You know, they were on the 890 line. So I'd, I wanted to make them think I was possibly going for their base. And it's, you know, it's a bit of a ruse, it's a bit of deflection, really, in the fact that I never intended to go that way. We always intended to swivel around and come back. Now, the last time we saw both the two heavy tanks, it was the E-75 and the ML-2, they were both fairly hev fairly heavy, fairly healthy. I should say they are heavy because they're a heavy tank. They're both fairly healthy. So this causes a problem. One gets in the cap and we're like, okay, we've all got back and reset this cap because... Well, we know exactly where one of them is now. It's like, thank you for that. And then the second one gets in. It's like, okay, this is a bit of a problem. Because we're dirt tanks. They're heavy tanks. The mill 2 we can pen in the side of the turret and the rear. That's okay. We nearly flip us off. But good driving. The E-75 is a bit more of a problem because we're not going to splash in for that much. But we swivel around here as we approach the cap so we can blaze away as quickly as possible. Waiting for Turkey to get up into a bit of a higher position to get a shot in. We spot them both. I get a shot in to reset the E-75, Turkey resets the ML-2, and that's the base reset. But now we're spotted, and we want to be a bit careful here, because we've shot the E-75, and I'm kind of expecting the E-75 to just be staring at me, and be very unhappy at the fact that I shot him, right? And I'm thinking, maybe he's going to come for me, and I don't want to put it around the corner because he'll be looking at me, but then did you see, the, see that in the cap? One has left the cap, 
So I move forward because it's like, oh, is that E75 coming for me? Because there's a bit of dead space between the cap and where I am. So he could easily leave the cap and then sneak up on me. And obviously he's got a big gun. We don't want to take the hit. That would be very, not very nice. But he's not appearing yet. And it's like, hmm, that's a bit odd. Looking for shots of the Emil 2 because the Emil 2 keeps giving us possibilities of shots from behind this rock. It's a bit of an awkward position for us to actually be shooting at. But then the E75 gets spotted right next to Turkey. And it's like, oh, okay, there's the E75. That means I can poke around this corner a little bit better. I'm just waiting to see if I can get a possible shot at this Emil 2. And hopefully get a shot in. But I'm deciding, no, actually, this E75 is chasing Turkey. The Emil 2 is staring at him as well. Because, he, well, Turkey's spotted, right? I'm not. So it's like, this is the potential. I said to Turkey, I'm going to go get oh, go up behind this Emil 2 and pen him in the back. Because then that puts him down to an easy one shot if one of us pens, pens him. And if I distract him, you know, you can possibly get a shot as well. So I do distract him. And thankfully, Turkey pens him for 387. And we shut down one of the heavy tanks. We get a nice shot snapped into the E75. Duck, dodge, dip, dive and dodge. Get behind the rock to stay away from that E75's gun. But we're about to make a mistake. I think this is an, this rock is extending all the way. But in fact, that's a bush. That's a bush. Which means that he manages to shoot us straight through it. And puts us down to a one shot for him. Which is really awkward. But he's coming around the side of that rock towards Turkey. Turkey's sort of sprinting away over there. I'm thinking, you know what? I think that guy might come over the ridge line and just charge down that hill directly at me. That rock is a bit of a perilous position. So I decide, you know what, I'm moving away. The E75 gets spotted, comes up after Turkey. Turkey's kiting him, going right round the side. I get a nice shot into his side. Turkey gets a nice shot into him. And Turkey gets behind cover, and I'm safe behind cover. Because we've just got to play this a bit carefully. Obviously, we're communica communicating at this point, saying, oh, he's spotted, he's coming up this way. I'm going that way to stay safe. <laughs> and Turkey's like, well, I'm going to go back around the other way. It's exactly what's happened. But now that E75 looks like he's chasing him. And it's like, right, okay, let's go get this E75. Because he's now in a position where we can sneak up on him, get sneaky shots, and possibly get away ourselves. So this E75 is clearly chasing Turkey. So we managed to get up behind him, get a nice shot into his back. He starts turning towards me. So I'm just swiveling round to have a look. We're looking round the corner using the third person name. And I'm saying to Turkey, he's looking at me, mate. He's looking at me. He, he, he's safe. Turkey comes round the corner, blaps the E75. And we take that two, 3v2 against two fairly healthy tier 9 heavies down with our tier 8. Derpy, derptitious light tanks. Finished with 4 kills, 5k damage, 325 assist. Brothers in arms, ace tankers, confederate, high caliber, two, 2k base. Really nice game for the turtle. Me and turkey come in top two. And the turtle, it's a damn fun light tank. It's a hell of a lot of fun and it was a great game to have. So as always everybody, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. A great success!